Hi everybody, this is Josh Ford. I'm running for the U.S. Senate in the 2018 election in Massachusetts. I'm here to talk to you today about a couple things. Uh, first of all, I had a request to talk to you about Bernie and Jill Stein and the Dem exit. Uh, what's going on right now is, you know, Bernie is has endorsed Hillary, but because of that endorsement, something amazing has happened. Hillary's numbers are tanking, which is great. I am happy about it. I know all the Bernicrats out there are happy about it. Uh, Jill Stein, I saw her on uh, the news yesterday. She told us that half of the Bernicrats have gone over to her, which is awesome. You know, she has a very similar platform to Bernie. Uh, and to me, Bernie and Jill would make a great team on the Green Party, which is still a possibility. Uh, I have heard that Jill will be going to Vermont and spending a week there, six days. So, something's happening. Big plans are being made, and I expect very shortly, hopefully, that we'll be hearing that things are moving along. It's probably going to happen after DNC, after the uh, convention. At the convention, uh, we're going to be there. We're going to be supporting Bernie. I'm going to be supporting Bernie. And, you know, whether we've gone Green Party, we're still Democrats, we're going to be at the DNC convention supporting Bernie. No one wants Hillary. It's never Hillary. It's never been Hillary. It's never going to be Hillary. No one likes her. She has had the best week of her life, endorsed by Bernie endorsed by Obama, got away with her criminal prosecution, which 93% of Americans say they want her prosecuted, so she's had a pretty good week, and maybe she should walk away at this point, because everyone wants her arrested, everyone wants her prosecuted, and her numbers are still tanking, even with all those endorsements. The DNC I read is freaking out. They're asking her questions, and she really doesn't have a good answer, in my opinion, as to why. She's like, oh, there's other options in the air. And those options are, yes, the Green Party uh, and other third party candidates. No one is happy with having Trump and Hillary Force on us. And if you look at Trump and Pence, Trump has picked his running mate, Pence. Well, this is, I thought, was hysterical because. They came out with their sign too, and it's a T and a P with a flag, and it just looks inappropriate. I thought that right off the bat, and immediately comments were saying that this looks inappropriate, and something about Pence was pretty wrong in my mind. Usually you want to pick a running mate that makes you look better, covers you for something you're not good at, you know, if you're not, you know, for Republicans, you know, you don't have a good history on guns or whatever then you want a running mate that, you know, is pro-gun. This guy makes Trump look almost normal from what I've seen so far, and that's really hard to do, make Trump look normal. So what I think is actually going on is because Hillary's numbers are tanking so bad that they have actually given Trump a running mate to try and make Trump and his whole campaign look even worse and scare us even more. I'm not going to be scared. You shouldn't be scared. You should find this hysterical because nothing is going to make Hillary look good. Never Hillary. And, you know, never Trump, really. Uh, we have other options and we're going to go with that. Like I said on uh, my last video, I've already joined the Green Party. Uh, I can understand those that want to wait till after the convention, but I understand the more we leave, the DNC and leave that party going, we're standing here alone now. What do we do? The more it's likely that the superdelegates are going to flip for Bernie trying desperately to get people to come back to the DNC. I don't know if that's going to be possible at this point. I think the DNC is so corrupt that the only way out is going to be a third party for all of us, to me the Green Party, and we're going to see real change that way. We're going to have honest people that care about the American people running the government. No more corruption. 
and that's that's what we have to do. You know, we can't just let the government slide by anymore. We, for a long time, I think we didn't pay attention, and it's time that we have to pay attention to what's going on. And many, many Americans have woken up, and I think, frankly, the world is happy that we have. Uh, even now, bad things are happening. You know, I look at my email box, and you know, Congress is trying to level Native American lands, make it available to fracking, and our planet needs our help. And people like Hillary, the fracking queen, is not going to make that happen. We have real alternative energy sources to rely on. Bernie Sanders has gotten Vermont to the point where it's 100% I've heard on renewable energy resources. It's not a pipe dream, it's not something that can't be done, it's a matter of the will of the people. Your will, my will. And you know what, we're going to make it happen. Um, I want to talk a little bit about my campaign real quick for the U.S. Senate in Massachusetts. Uh, thank you uh, to my supporters uh, already, you know, I really was kind of shocked and surprised at how quickly people have been adding themselves to my political page, uh, to my personal page on Facebook, and are just really happy to see a progressive stepping out, stepping up, and helping, and trying to make a difference. And that's what I want to do, is I want to make a difference. And like Bernie said, winning is not always the end result. I would love to win, and be able to be in Washington with Jill and Bernie and voting with them to make a difference. And we're going to. I'm going to make that happen. It is my dream to make that happen. And like I said, the support I've already gotten, uh, I've already got offers for volunteers, which I did not expect to happen so quickly. Uh, I could use all the volunteers that are out there. You know, I have support that's out of Massachusetts, in Massachusetts. Uh, you know, I've been working with Bernie for over a year now, so I've got a lot of help. Uh, I've got a lot of people out there, and but the more the merrier. Uh, going to be making plans this weekend to roll out another video with my platform on it. Um, and please just like my political page, and don't give up on Bernie. Don't give up on Jill Stein. We're going to make a big difference. Uh, with 8 to 10 million people expected in Occupy DNC, the people are awake, and we're going to make a difference, and I'm excited about that. Uh, and you should be excited too. Um, hope you enjoyed this video, and uh, I'd like to thank all of you. And this was Josh Ford for the U.S. Senate in 2018 in Massachusetts for the future of America. Catch you all later.